Hello everyone, so I'm Dr. Tushar Mehta, orthopedic surgeon and faculty of orthopedics and today's video is about this question that you can see on your screens right now. So identify the diagnosis in the x-ray and the condition where it is used. Clear-cut image-based question where you can see the decrease in the vertebral body height probably because of the uh, central collapse compression uh, fracture of the vertebral body. Apart from that, you can see that the superior end plate is concave, the inferior end plate is concave, and we're dealing with what? <laughs> we're dealing with a biconcave vertebra. We are dealing with biconcave vertebra, which is also what is called as fish mouth spine, also what is called as Code fish spine. Don't worry. Uh, while well, I'll show you why fish mouth or code fish seen in two conditions. One is osteomalacia. One is osteoporosis. If there's any entrance exam where more than one option can be correct, we'll choose both of them. But if you have to choose one, then always remember M for mouth is more classical of M for Malaysia. So answer to this question is C, but that's not all. We have to discuss the remaining options. What is this X-ray spine? A very frequently asked question. So guys, yes, most of you guessed it right. This is what is called as rugger jersey spine, where you can see that the superior end plate is dense sclerotic, the inferior end plate is dense sclerotic, the body is black, the disc is, anyways, the disc space is black. So you see alternating stripes of white, black, white, black, just like the jersey of a rugby player in the inset i've shown you that jersey as well alternating stripes of white black white black by the way this is seen in two conditions one is renal hyperparathyroidism which is what is called as renal osteodystrophy also seen in one more condition called as osteopetrosis again if you are dealing with an entrance exam where more than one option is correct you'll mark both of them but if you have to choose one then always remember that r for rugger jersey spine is more classical of r for rod well that's not enough in the explanation of this question i want you to see one more sign so here you saw that the superior and the inferior end plate is dense here you can see that the superior end plate is dense and the anterior end plate is dense inferior end plate is dense posterior end plate is posterior end plate is dense you can categorically see that all four end plates are dense and you have an empty space here. It is looking like as if, you know, there is a picture frame all around and in the center, you have an empty space to put your picture in. I'm sure most of you by now must have gotten the hint. So guys, here you dealt with something which is called as picture frame spine. And a very easy way to remember it, that P for picture frame is classically seen in P for Paget's disease of bone. M for mouth spine, M for Malaysia, R for renal osteodystrophy, R for aggregate jersey spine, P for Paget's disease, P for picture frame spine. The one that was asked in the question where I told you that today I'll tell you why fish mouth spine, you know, is called fish mouth spine or biconcave vertebra is called fish mouth spine. So if you see the shape of the fish, so this is almost like that. So this shape is almost like that. Can you appreciate that? All right. So can you appreciate? So this is basically the shape of a fish mouth. If you don't want to see this, you can see this as well this as well okay so fish mouth mouth of a fish like biconcave vertebra so with this we come towards the end of the discussion of this question i wish you all the best